welcome to my youtube channel in this video we are going to learn how to plot four graphs in one particular page using xm grace so another thing that we must also that we also learn is that all the data that we are going to be plotting they are all in one file so we'll call it go to that so you can see the energy part the real part these are optical data so we want to plot in the first graph this against this this one against this in the second graph this against this in the third this against this in the fourth we can also do this one in the other maybe another figure but we want to plot four of this graph in one page using xm grace to do this we launch our xm grace launch it then we split this graph into four to do that we we'll come to arrange graph we need two column and two rows then we we'll click accept now we have this four graphs in one page now take note of this dark black square box once you notice it on the graph it means that we are in that particular page uh, that graph if you click here it means we are in this graph if you click here it means we are in this graph if you click here it means we are in this graph so coming to this graph to export to import our data we we'll come to data imports ASCII so we'll come to this place data import ASCII then we go to our home directory this is a file that we are interested in so we'll click it once we click we'll come here and click block data after block data we'll click OK once that is done our X axis should be the first column, the Y axis should be the second column, two. Then we'll click accept. So that's that. We'll come to this place. We'll click OK. Then we'll pick the third column and click accept. We come to this place we click this one we come to this place okay and we click the fourth fourth and click accept so we'll come here click okay and change to five then accept okay so now that we are done with this um we might want to remodify it so that um, all this space will be taken care of so we'll come to data okay plot that axis property this is our x-axis for the x-axis we change it to 22 and say as apply okay sorry i think we're working on this one so I can come here plot axis axis property click this one 22 then accept then year two come to plot axis 22 then accept likewise this one plot axis 22 then accept then we can come here and put the label and this property here yeah. I'll put um, the imaginary parts I'll put exalum And 
and see our set. Okay, it's supposed to be for the E, so we'll change it back to to Y. Y then slash x e underscore one accept underscore one then we'll come back to this place add this property under the x we put x we put energy or we might decide to leave the energy but let's see accept but since they have the same axis both this and this we can even remove this one and label the final one at the bottom here yeah? and also the bottom here so that it will not affect this particular one so we can still come here and add this property and um, remove this one and accept rather we we'll come to this place and put add this property under my x energy accept Okay, so once you label, let's also label this one. I want to label it like this. Axis property under my y axis. So we'll put slash x e slash s one. Then accept. So. Oh, sorry, it's supposed to be E2. E2. Then accept. So, you can also label this one if you know what this one is from the data. From the data. Okay, this is the refractive index N. N, the refractive index N accept refractive index N or you can leave it as ordinary N then this one The energy loss constants also yeah so once you do that you want to save you come to this place file save us we come to this side you save us um, optical dot agr optical dot agr then you click ok so next time you do any work, you can you can come here and be saving. So whatever adjustment I make here, you can come here and save. So that's that. So if you want to print into a file, ESP file, you come here, you say print setup, postscript, EPS, accept, come back here, then print. So once you print, we can get our results yeah you can see and these are our results our results so let's say <coughs> I close this particular file and I want to come back to it I want to visit it I can open this one sorry I can open in terminal Once I open in terminal, I just type XM Grace 
and type optical AGR and click enter then to show me this particular page you can do my modification and that's it thank you um, for watching please like and share and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you